Hello, my friends. I'm going to give you a moment to pop on or log on here. You guys check it out. I'm in AZ um, here in my backyard getting some sun. And uh, you can see that I'm, you see my toes, grounding. Things that I keep reminding everybody to do. If you can listen, <clears throat> any of you, hello, hello, welcome. Those of you who were, um, if you haven't seen my Truth Tribe from last night, feel free to go see it on my Facebook or my or my YouTube, or it's on any of the, the podcast channels that you listen to, just Don Thompson Truth Tribe. And what I'm going to, I just wanted to touch on, we talked about illness last night. What's making you sick is not what you think. So again, everybody wants to blame the crown bug. I'm going to call it that so we don't get tagged. Um, the Corona crown um, bug and there's a new strain and there's a new version and everybody wants to go into mainstream medicine and I just don't go there so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna entertain any of this okay so because I've been sick and I've had a bug I'm just coming off of it so I'm not gonna stay on too long you can hear how nasally I am um, but on, on the truth tribe call last night I was struggling and and they could hear me I was sick I, I I shouldn't say that. I was healing. I used the word transforming. I was transforming and transitioning from the old me to the new me. Oh, hi, handsome. So my friend Larry's on here. Um, and anyway, so I brought up how we can start um, looking at illness from a different perspective, which is inflammation. And I want us to start having these live live calls um, regarding things I'm experiencing and sharing with you from the things, the thoughts, and the truth. So the thing is, is illness, sickness, injury, pain, right? In any of those states of mind, even in emotional pain, you're inflamed, okay? It's that basic. You're inflamed. You're fucking pissed off you're emotional or you're angry that your body doesn't work or you're angry or you're frustrated that you're ill or you don't feel well, you're inflamed emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Now, here's the kicker is that we can keep using that, but we're not owning what got us inflamed. So that's the tip of tonight, which or today that I wanted to bring you into is I talked about at the end of the call, licking the curb, which is also in my new book, um, Licking the Curve for Love is one of the chapters, Mastering Badassery with Truth. Go look it up. It's on Amazon. It's also on my, I think it's it's pinned on my my bio or in my wall. And I bring that up because licking the curve means you have to do everything and anything to make yourself better. And I gave them the list on Truth Tribe last night about <laughs> the million things I've done to get myself to this state. And I'm hitting about day five, so I'm not going to lie to you. Day one and two were pretty bad. I was running a bad fever and I was burning up a lot of toxicity, energy, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Um, so I was welcoming the fever. I was welcoming the burn off. I owned it. I know I brought it on to myself. I brought on wanting to heal, wanting to be better. And what I'm missing when I hear people, whether it's in my coaching, whether it's in the group calls, whether it's in the group coaching, whether it's in just one-on-one -on -one discussions with people, is that people want to blame the external, the crown bug got me. No, the crown bug didn't get you. Own the fact that you put yourself in environments emotionally, physically, and spiritually that caused you to become inflamed. And because you're inflamed, your immune system gets knocked down a couple notches and thus you get ill or not well. Okay, It's that basic. So I can own all of that. And in what I want to leave you guys with today, because I'm not going to stay on too long, is that we're not owning what got us where we are. We're not owning what got us arthritis. Oh, it's just genetic bullshit. God gave you DNA with sick codes, yes, and healing codes. And your DNA knows how to heal every aspect of your soul, your mind, and your body. That DNA has power. Now, again, this is what we're talking about in the Truth Warrior series. Again, t um, Thursday is our first live online um, 
class of the 12 week class. I think I'm going to switch it to six weeks because I'm going to do a speed class. Um, but if you want to get into that, you'll have to DM me because you can't get in. The, the registration got closed down. But the next registration is a one day retreat in March in Scottsdale. So come join me. So my point is, is that if you're not owning your physical, your mental and your spiritual of what got you sick, you'll keep getting sick or you'll stay sick longer or you'll just completely be pissed off and inflamed for the rest of your life and you keep blaming external sources, i.e. the crown bug. As we know, we'll call it the crown bug so we don't get tagged into this into this matrix of discussions of not talking about it. Um, I don't want to get pulled down. Um, you know what the crown bug is, the corona crown. Um, you all know that, but if you can't own what gets you inflamed in your relationships, what gets you inflamed in your body, what gets you inflamed in your emotions, what gets you inflamed. And what's happening is I'm watching everyone come up with this mother wound. Well, what I'm realizing is you might have to heal the mother wound of your physical body. Today I just left. I'm going to end you on this. I have this amazing healer in Scottsdale. And um, if anybody wants his name, his name's Tony Liker. But I went to him and I thought he was healing just helping me clear out this stuff of breathing and all this and and it wasn't that it was healing my mother wound and my own mothering and the cesarean scar which is where he went and said that's where this whole thing and healed my liver and all other stuff but my point was is like here I'm explaining to everybody about the mother wound yet my my own womb needed healing and so we need to own all the parts of ourselves that have caused inflammation or been inflamed at one time. I was very inflamed, very angry, very pissed off at the time I had that cesarean because I didn't want it. So fascinating how the universe brought me back there when I've done the work to say, I don't want to be inflamed anymore. I don't want to be angry anymore. I don't want to be in that state. I actually want to be in a place of peace and joy. When you choose peace and joy, your body will burn up and get sick. I owned it. I was okay with it. I was okay with, I called the trans, I was in transition <laughs> to the new me. This is the new me. So I want you all to be prepared, whether it's you're transitioning emotionally to new relationships, you're transitioning physically to a new body, you're transitioning spiritually to a new connection with God, and you have to leave religion because your box, I'm telling you, is keeping you in an old belief system and mentality and boxed religion. I'm not, I'm not downing God. I talk to God. You all know I talk to God all day long. Um, source consciousness. And I'm not, I'm not downing community of religion. I'm downing the rules and restrictions that we have been held on to for so long. And we're not owning what's pissing us off and making us in this state of inflammation. So I'm going to leave you with this. Own what's making, own the ailments. Own what's making you sick. Own what's making you inflamed. If you want to watch the full Truth Tribe and you weren't with us last night, go onto my YouTube, go on to any of the Spotify, um, Apple podcasts. You can listen to it there. I've uploaded it and you can hear the full version. But my answer is, is own your illness, own your inflammation, own your anger. I guarantee you, you will start feeling better. Choose peace, choose joy. I love you. Brightest blessings. You guys have an awesome day. Take care.